five star, once five star tackle, a freshman from LSU, hit the portal, Tennessee, and her looks to be getting hot and heavy a little bit. What can you tell us about uh, his time there at LSU? What kind of player he was for the Tigers? Yeah, man. I mean, Lance Hurd is uh, was five star coming out of Neville in North Louisiana, and uh, he. He, he was on the same team as Will Campbell, who's LSU's starting left tackle. They were high school teammates, which is crazy. Um, but Hurd came down here thinking he was going to compete for and win a, a job as a freshman. And they gave him a look in fall camp. Uh, they looked at move, at starting Hurd at right tackle and moving Emory Jones to, to right guard. But ultimately, they decided that they had their best five on the field and Hurd kind of became the sixth guy that would rotate in. Uh, he's a talented guy. I mean, he, y'all, he is a monster. He's a big old dude that's got good feet. He can play tackle, and he's physical enough to, to be a good run blocker if they need to play him on the inside. Um, but he was a backup this year, and with four of LSU's five starters returning next year, he likely was in line to be a backup. But, again, but guys, I mean, I, this is this was an NIL deal. Uh, Lance, LSU's collective paid Lance um, coming out of Neville. He wanted a significantly higher sum for year two, and – they couldn't justify they, they couldn't justify the number considering he was going to be a backup again. So he went into the portal and was seeking a, a better opportunity. And guys, that's I don't and I don't mean that in any way to be a knock on him or Tennessee or LSU for not paying or whatever. It's just that's the culture of it. And I respect any guy if your objective is go get paid, if someone's gonna pay you, go get it, man. And uh if you have someone who's willing to, to fork it out. But if Tennessee gets Lance Heard, they got a really good player, like a he is a starting caliber player in the SEC now. He just was at a spot at LSU where you had bookend tackles that were returning starters and a couple other guys that had been three-year starters already on the line. Yeah, you mentioned his talent, his overall talent. So what is the on-field potential, do you think, right now for Hurd and then over the next couple of years? What did LSU think he could become as an yeah, offensive Josh, tackle? Yeah, I don't doubt at all that like if Will Campbell and Emory Jones weren't there, he would have been a starting tackle on either side of the line as a true freshman. Like he is a really good prospect. I mean, there was a reason he was a five star, and he is a like you can project him as an NFL offensive lineman. Like he is a really good player. So if if Tennessee gets him, like I would be really surprised if he's not starting at one. I don't know what Tennessee's line looks like next year, who you have coming back, but I'd be really surprised if he's not starting in one of the tackle spots. I mean, he is he is a giant physical dude, and he's the kind of guy that, you know, even as a freshman in fall camp, because crazy, y'all, Brian Kelly actually let, actually let us go watch practice. We could watch, like, full practices and stuff. Um, I mean, he's the guy that would start fights with defensive linemen just because he would he'd play through the whistle. I mean, he is a, like, when you look at the prototypical, big, nasty, physical offensive lineman, he's that guy. He's huge, and he's athletic. Like, he, I get why he was a five-star, and it, it sucks that LSU lost him. You know, but it's just – it's a it's just a different day in college football, and every team is going to lose players they don't want to lose in a given year for playing time, NIL, transfer portal, whatever reasons it may be for that player individually. So, yeah, if Tennessee gets hurt, they're they're getting a immediate starting caliber offensive lineman. 